G'day Ziggy D here with another Path of Exile guide. In today's video I'm going to be giving you guys another entry to my Where to Farm series and I'm going to be taking a look at the City of San in Act 3. Now the City of San is the first zone that you enter after killing Val in Act 2 and it is a pretty decent farming zone for both Cruel and Merciless. I primarily use it in Merciless if I'm not quite prepared to go on to Docks and Beyond uh, or in Cruel if I'm uh, under leveled a bit and I use it to get about 5 levels over leveled for that zone uh, if I'm rushing through pretty quickly. Uh, in terms of defensive uh, capabilities you'll need to run this zone, it's pretty light. Uh, the only real elemental uh, effect that you'll have to worry about uh, that is inherent to this zone is a uh, lightning arrow from some of the lightning arrow skeletons and there's only, but there's only a few of those and they tend to spawn with larger packs of skeletons and there only tends to be a few in each pack so uh, overall no, no real elemental resistances to worry about and you've probably noticed by now that there's a bit of a theme in farming zones that uh, that is often the case popular farming zones will have low elemental resistance requirements requirements though that said uh, this by this point in merciless you still need fairly decent fire and cold resists as lots of elites and blue packs can spawn with uh, added fire and cold damage and that can cause a lot of damage if you, especially if you have negative resistances however by this point if you've cleared through uh, act 2 then you should have fairly decent resistances by this point now if you're an armor based character uh, or even indeed with the new patches an evasion based character with high evasion uh, there's lots of physical damage that you can evade as you can see there's a few of those lightning arrow guys there and they're kind of nasty this is a fairly large pack of them actually you won't often see packs that large and because they were spread out it was a bit tricky uh, but in general pretty easy to defend uh, overall this, this zone is a straight line as well which is also another fundamental part for a good a good zone to farm. So basically you run from the waypoint or when you first come into the zone, this is a pretty nasty pack here, I'll just finish exploding those guys up, very nice. You pretty much just run along the entire wall here and I'll just skip through the rest of the way until you get to this second downward staircase here. You noticed I passed one of these earlier and I'll just sleep stand down here. Then you get to the entrance here to the sign encampment. Now normally you're probably going to go through and go back to the town, however you can control click this and create a new zone and then run this zone again. Now I highly recommend for pretty much all people farming this zone to stick along this, south, this southern wall here. And that is because there is one particularly dangerous element to this uh, zone. That was a pretty nasty pack there as well. I'm having, I'm having pretty good luck with these guys at the moment. And that is there is a, a, a mini boss, a unique mob in this zone named Perpetus. And he is the noob slayer. He is uh, incredibly dangerous for characters that aren't quite very good at defending against uh, highly damaging physical attacks. He uses two abilities, Ethereal Knives and uh, Bear Traps, and both of those do quite a bit, fair bit of physical damage. However, if, you're, if you have a build like my current one that uh, uses things like Endurance Charges and Granite Flasks, then uh, you can actually take him on and get some pretty sweet loot from him. So on this second run here, I'm actually going to go hunt him down for you guys, just to show you guys how you can deal with him. Uh, if you are uh, a certain build that can take him on. For the most builds though, I still highly recommend that you just stick to the southernmost wall. And that is because he only spawns in the city section up to the north. And uh, that is like 990 ti 999 times out of a thousand runs uh, he'll spawn up there. You do hear of these rare occurrences where he will spawn within aggro radius uh, of the southernmost wall, but that is super, super uncommon. So I'm just going to finish getting up my endurance charges, and we'll head up into the northern city area, uh, and I'll hunt down Perpetus just, just to show you guys how that works there. So we'll just make sure I'm staying on top of my endurance charges and my flasks are full as well, because uh, that's important. But uh, with this with this build, I have fairly good physical defense. I have good armor. Let's see, at this point, I have 53% armor with a couple endurance nodes. So we'll go to this, and here he is in here in this large pack. So I pop my granite flask and I use my explosives and there he is. I'll just, as you can see I've been bear trapped. Now there are a few good ways you can deal with bear trap. I'll, I'll just try and keep avoiding him for the moment to keep him alive for you guys. Uh, the first way is if you have a skill like leap slam, you can actually, I'll see if I can, get bear trapped. Let's, uh, let's, uh, mm, let's clear out a few of these guys. I don't know if his bear trap will die. But if you get bear trapped, uh, you can leap slam out of it. See, as you see I'm bear trapped, I can't move, but I can leap slam. So that's a good way to escape and just reposition yourself and get out of danger if you are bear trapped. So if you're bear trapped, you can leap slam out of it and keep yourself a bit safe. The other way is if you have an AoE ground targeted ability. There we go, another, another bear trap there. <laughs> it's kind of funny that you take the bear trap with you. Uh, the other way to uh, get rid of those bear traps is to use a skill like Cold Snap, an AoE based skill that attacks the ground. Uh, Cold Snap will destroy any bear traps, including ones that are, you know, before you run into them. So that's a good way of getting rid of them. Uh, other than that, uh, as long as you have high physical resistance, so you can resist the hits from those bear traps, 
Uh, and I, for that, I pretty much highly recommend things like Enduring Cry, your Endurance Charges, and a nice, a nice leaf filled up uh, Granite Flask, pretty much the only ways. But um, other than that, if, you, if you're not a build that can handle that, or if you uh, don't feel like taking that risk, especially when you first come into the zone, this zone, then it's a good idea to just stick to this southernmost wall, and you'll very, very rarely, if ever, see him. So just again, just to run down here, uh, this this wall here, you see that there's this first staircase, and there'll be a second staircase, which you can leap slam down or run around, and uh, you can refresh the zone up there. I'll just go to the other end just to show you guys how to refresh uh, the zone from this end as well, because it's a little bit different, and uh, I often get questions about how to do this. Now, as you can see, the the amount, like, the, the sheer mob, the pack size uh, in this zone is really, really good. So if you have excellent AoE capabilities, it's a fantastic place to farm. You'll see I get a ton of experience when I kill these guys, and it's just a super explosive fun as well for this Infernal Blow build, which maybe some of you guys are leveling as well. I know quite a few of you guys are leveling up. So when you get back to this side of the zone and the waypoint, assuming you've, uh, you know, you've at least done one run and made to the sign encampment, essentially you go to town, so we just go through our little loading screen here, then we click on the waypoint, and then we control click on the City of Sun, and that brings up this menu, and we can hit new there and do a run. So essentially, when you reach this side, you're just going to use the waypoint to refresh, and when you reach the other side, you're just going to use the zone entrance uh, and the town entrance to refresh. Pretty easy stuff. Point A to point B run, just stick to the southernmost wall, uh, make sure you've got a little bit of lightning resistance and a little bit of fire and cold, which you sure already have by this point. And uh, pretty solid farming zone. Uh, anyway, I think that's about it. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.